Welcome to another video. So today I'm going to be showing you how to download the natural macro for Bee Swarm Simulator. It's a very good macro. And yeah. So basically I'll be leaving the links in the description below. So what you're gonna want to do first is go to the website. Um what oops. Clicking on the uh you, so you can go down below this video. I'm just gonna go to my past. Uh, five. I've done multiple streams of this. Um. So go to here. Oh, so yeah, these streams are examples that it works really well. You can watch them if you want. But basically, what you're going to want to do is go to here, autohotkey.com, and then you're going to want to click download. Uh, download version 2.0. And then just download it. So now what you want to do is you want to just set it up with the register browser. And you can just do whatever you want for the file. Install. Yes. And then it's here, downloaded. And we're not gonna use that again, that's just to run the actual macro program. So now, um, you want to go to this Discord, which will be in the description below, but you could also just go to discord.com slash invite slash neutral macro. Then you'll accept the invite. And then you go to here, nature macro. And then you'll click and then you'll download it. Ben, stop. Sorry guys, Ben is being stupid idiot. So then, uh, it will say dangerous download, but it just doesn't, it just doesn't trust it, but it's fine, very safe. I've had it for a while, it works very well. It's a lot of YouTube videos and it's, it's very safe, just. So basically then, I'd recommend, uh, go where you downloaded it. I'd recommend moving it to your desktop, but you don't have to. All right, this is one I made in the past. And make sure you have the most recent one. They will update it, and you just have to re-download it. You don't have to re-download, like, I don't have key or anything. You just have to delete that old one, re-download it. So then, basically, all you want to do is just extract it. Uh, it takes a little bit to extract. I think it's best to have it here on this screen on the desktop because it's nice and accessible. So yeah, and I have it. I keep it like right in the middle here because uh, this size like my games. This size like my other stuff, I don't really know what category it falls under, so when I delete that, boom. But, also, boom. So now this is what you really want. The nature macro right here, this is the actual macro. You want to double click it, and if you download it auto hotkey, this will open. Then you have your macro here. And you can kind of change it to whatever you want, so I like having pepper, uh, Elol, this too. Uh, so basically, I'll tell you what everything does. So this is basically what field you want, and it can rotate between fields. Uh, what shape you want to do it? So Elol and Snake are the same thing, I believe. Uh, someone in the Discord said that. And then the length is how long you want, and the width is how wide you want. 
and then until is 10 minutes of gathering until you, uh, uh, go back to your hive to convert pollen into honey, or until your pack, uh, your honey, your pollen percent in your pack is 100, uh, so it's at the max. It'll t take a couple seconds to register it, so yeah. And then two hive by, you can walk, reset, rejoin, uh, and then blah, blah. And sprinkler, you can have it place a sprinkler in a certain spot. So I like to do a center of the field. I don't know what the distance means, so I just select 10 always. Click slash kill. You can have it collect or kill stuff. I don't really like it during bug runs for me, but it can do that. I just don't really like it. Uh, dispensers, you can do. You can have it do dispensers. I don't really like the dispensers because I am really too high for most of them. And then the Royal the, the Star Jelly Dispenser is a once a day thing that I can just clone on my own. You can have it collect tickets from the Wealth Clock, which I always have activated. Uh, you can have it do Mondo, so Mondo Kill slash Buff. This is Mondo Chip. Ant, you can have it uh, collect the pass, order the challenge uh, for the ant. Oh, you could also have it collect robo passes. Uh, and then bees miss. Well, bees miss is active. You can do the bees miss stuff. So I'm gonna have it do stockings, re feast, and some over, for me, uh, and lit art for me. Uh, I do have the gingerbread house in black, but I don't. But I'm gonna just let them collect in there. And then, uh, I don't have the snowstorm candles or gummy beacon. I'm like, you can't even get the gummy beacon yet. <laughs> um, yeah, you can also kill, like, bosses and stuff. And then if we go to boost, it can just use boosts. I don't really do that. Quest, it can do quests here for you. It is only repeatable quests, and Brown Bear is not yet made. But that's fine, because it's still amazing for, like, Bucklebee and Riley B. I, I, I like just having it on Riley B sometimes because then it does the quest for me. Planters Plus! It does a bunch of planter stuff and right here you can say if it's enabled or disabled. Uh, status. Right here, this is very cool and important because my quest didn't work until I did this. So basically, um, right here it has a status log and it has stats of, of everything. So now, we can enable Discord webhook, and then if we go here to Discord, you can go to any server you own. I'll just go here to my country of Canaan server. Let me open it. There we go. So now you can see I have this, and it's been and th and this just appears in my Discord server, so it's really cool. So I'm able to just check in whenever I want. So, even if I'm, like, away from my house, I can know how it's doing, and it gives hourly reports where I can see, like, my honey and stuff. So, yeah, this is really cool, and the way to do it is, boom, and then, uh, wait, no. <laughs> Edit channel, integrations, you have to do this in a specific channel, too. View webhooks, and then I'll just delete this old one. New, and then I'll create a webhook. I'll do, uh, the Korea B ESS, which if you didn't know, stands for Beast Rump Simulator. Natro status. Now, if we save the changes here, uh, we can copy the webhook URL and paste that in here. So now, there will be a bot that whenever I start up the macro, it will here in the server, like if I were to do this real quick, start it up. Oh yeah, it won't work because it doesn't just keep going. Oh, oh. Okay. Yep, and then it appears on my iPad. So that is, that's really cool. And basically, uh, that's really it for this video. Uh, settings. Oh wait, the, yeah, these, these are important. So you'll want to join this one for this. If you're not already in the swarm. And basically, make sure you don't have a haste buff or just don't play in your hive, that works too. And then open up your settings and find your move speed option. Mine is 30. The thing's auto thing is 28. So if your thing so if your movement speed isn't 28, 
then you want to change it to 30. It does have move speed correction, so. Wait, what does that even do? Oh! Okay, I see, so this is for like, quicker and pace, taste plus, all that stuff. Anyways, you can also change your GUI from here. I like Mac OEM B because I only found out about this like yesterday and I'm just used to this one. Um, and then you can change to where it claims your hive slot. So, yeah, it's especially good if you have a private server, which you can have it going and you can have it wait a certain amount of time to reload the game if the game crashes or whatever. And then you can have it reconnect daily at a certain time and then there's UTC time. So make sure you get that correct. Move method can spring to the type supreme. You can change your can your move method and your uh, spring to the type here. Uh, I have a supreme saturator, so I do that. Move method, I do the cannon because I have the cannon to lock. And I have it always convert my balloon because it's nice. Um. Oh crap! Wait, what? Turn it off. It's F three to stop it. By the way, uh, I guess I didn't stop it. And then you can have it do key settings. And then here are the contributors, the people who help. And you want know proof it works? Again, all right, yeah, here's all the things that happened. Uh, let me just. Again, if you want, uh, like proof that this works, just go to my live stream. It's amazing. Works very well. And, um, yeah, I've been using it for a while. And it doesn't harm your computer. Yeah, anyways guys, that's it for this video. If you enjoyed, bye, and as always, peace out.